Not again. If you are also tired of this, keep watching. Hi guys, it's Oli here. I hope you're having a great day. Let's make a deal. If you're interested in modding your own battery for the Mini 2, please watch the whole video because I will be giving you information, bits and pieces here and there, and you will need all those information to be able to do this mod. And yes, this is a DIY battery mod. It involves working with lithium cells, so please give me a break in the comment section about fire hazards and everything. Yes, these cells can be dangerous, so please do not do this unless you absolutely know what you are doing. That out of the way, if you need more information on how to disassemble this battery, you can watch my other video on it, which I did before. Here, here I'm not going into the details of that. But, as you see, we have to remove some stuff from the battery casing and then we have to expose the PCB because we have to solder an additional wire, actually two wires, to these locations. The red is the positive and the blue is the negative. This is the simplest way of doing it. You do not have to go all the way where I go, but please do not solder on the battery terminals where the original cells are. It will not work and you can potentially just destroy your battery. So this plastic epoxy glue crap need to be removed from the PCB to be able to solder on it. You don't need to remove as much as I do. I just want to have a better connection, a better solder location on the positive there and on the negative there. But it is enough for you if you, if you solder on the pins. But be careful not to short the battery. That's very important because you're going to wreck it. So I am just removing here the this uh, silk screen so I can actually solder on those pins and this is the trickiest part of the whole thing to make sure that it is not being shorted that wrecks the thing so be very careful if you decide to do this and please just don't do it if you don't know what you are doing this is just important if you want to have a safe solution which is totally plug and play Go ahead and buy some extra batteries from DJI. Those are extremely great products. Anyway, so I'm drilling here the two holes. Now you say, yeah, but why do you need it if I anyway just soldered on the pins? I will show you later why I actually decide to do this anyways. I am threading through here those wires which I'm using to connect to the battery terminals to add some additional lithium cells. And I am not going to put back the lid of the battery for two reasons. I'm going to save some weight and like this the cell actually has more space to air so it stays cooler. And why I put the cables anyway through the bottom? Because if I yank the cable it is pulling the bottom part of the battery where I anyway have the lat latching mechanism still in place so it will not come out of the drone. So it is quite safely in there. This is very important, I think, if it's already a mod. So these are the cells I'm going to use. I brought to you three different capacities and we're going to see how they perform. They are going to be added to the original battery and uh, we test them. So while I'm putting together the first series connection here you see the cardboard it's very important safety point don't miss out on it it will help you to not short your own battery anyway so i am doing a capacity test of this cell it should be 3.5 amp hours or 3500 milliamp hours to see if it lives up to the promise and as you see that's my balance charger discharger if you are dealing with lithium cells you gotta have one of these because if these cells are going out of balance this is what you use to put them back in balance it's very important and as you can see 3509 milliamp hours so it delivers what it promises so let's see this is how i'm going to put it into the drone goes in the first battery that's fine that's the factory battery it lightened up a little bit and then I'm going to connect these two cells, just negative goes to negative, positive goes to positive. If you are not sure which is which, use your multimeter to find it out. Anyways, and I am soldering it on now because I am changing these cells. Of course, I have been have to do several tests, but 
Once these are on and you decided which cell to use, you can actually just leave it on, it can be charged in the drone. And I know already people will ask, yeah, but if I put battery cells on the top of the drone, my GPS is not going to be good. So I just went on my balcony and I tested it. Look at the time and look at the number of, of GPS satellites found. So we are at 40 seconds and we are at 9 satellites, 45, 10 satellites. So under 50 seconds, we actually homed in on our location. And here is the big test. Now, all the drones sound like this together, but you can hear them separately here. So you can see how the pitch of the drone is changing the sound just by how much it is being stressed by the additional weight. And please don't skip this test now because I'm going to talk about things here which are important if you actually want to do this mode. If you are not interested in doing it, you're just interested in what the results are, that's fine. Let's skip to the results section. That's all right. So now we have them hovering. All right. So as you could see, I had this balance charger. I want to talk about this a little bit because this is super important. When you are charging these cells connected to the original battery and put it in the drone, it is going to charge it to 8.7 volts. It will cut maybe 8.75 or whatever. It will cut there and the saturation of the additional cell is not going to be as great because it's connected with a wire. So it will not reach that high voltage. If you just do that, your uh, times are going to be worse than what you see in this test. What I did here is I charged the battery in the drone separately and the additional, char additional cells I charged with my balance charger, which charges them to only 8.4 volts. So I had to top it up with an additional power supply to 8.8 .8 volts. And I led them to charge to full saturation, meaning till the whole cell charge current goes down to like what? 100 milliamps or, or, or 50 milliamps really to saturation. This is how I got these results. And I wanted to do the stock battery, which you see on the left up corner, because this battery has been used now for 30 times. So I wanted to see how it degraded. And yes, as you can see, it did only 27.22. So it is not the 30 minutes promised in the beginning, even though the cell was lightened because several parts were taken off of that battery. Yes, there were cables added which I still left on there but I would say you can see some degradation so now we have three players in 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 play and then uh, to be honest the 4480 milliamp hour additional on the right uh, top left right corner I just did because I had the cells I wanted to try it but the, the drone was was really struggling I mean it was very heavy for it so that cell, I, I, I have to be honest, regardless of its uh, performance, I, I am not really recommending because I don't know what does it do to the drone long term. But that's the second, as expected, the 2375 milliamp power fell out at 39, 7, uh, 37. Guys, that's pretty cool, I think. I mean, it's almost 40 minutes. And surprise, surprise, the 4480 because of the law of diminishing return, right? It just became so heavy, the drone. The, the, the cells were so heavy that it just made a little bit over 40 minutes. So as we can see, the 4480 cell is definitely not a cycle for this drone. But look at look at it going. The 35, the 3500 milliamp hour cell was the one which was holding the, the longest and it did for over 45 minutes. That's just crazy, guys. If you like this, smash the like button. If you learned something, please sign up. And look what I got. This came with the post. Can you guess in the comment section what's in it? I tell you, it's going to be amazing for future projects. Check out my other videos. I suggest you checking out my autopilot series, which is really interesting. Really thanks for watching, guys. Bye.